Hi everyone, welcome to Sanology. Today I want to make a micellar water. For the ones who don't know what is micellar water, this is actually the first step to have clear, clean, glory skin. So if you want to have a clear skin with no breakouts, you need to follow double clean method. In double clean method, you need to remove your makeup with a makeup remover. That micellar water I think is the best one, especially if you have oily skin or combination skin. And then you need to wash your face with a gentle face wash. So for the first step, let's make a micellar water. Okay, we need 51.1% uh, distilled water in our formula. It's better to not consider my number in the scale because I am making the batch based on 130 uh, gram. And then you need to add vegetable grazing as our first homectone. It's coming by 0.5%. Dial pantanol is uh, another moisturizer that I add to my formula coming by 1%. I pretty much use dial pantanol in all of my formula. It works well to keep moisture inside our skin. You have to solve it completely and then you need to add aloe vera extracts working as a skin suiting coming by 15% in the formula. Then I add uh, sodium lactate as 0.5% working as our second homectan and then I add chamomile extract in 1% works very well as a vasodilator. It is a really, really great ingredient for people who have irritated or sensitive skin. And then you need to add vanilla extracts. It works very well to increase the smell of vanilla in our formula. PEG6 capri capri trigger is coming by 0.4% in our formula, working as our cleanser. It's really, really gentle cleanser, especially for products who want to stay on our skin. And then liquid derma plus, working as our preservative, coming by 0.5%. Then as a last step, you need to add natural cyclomethicol in 15%. It actually makes our muscle water to work very well to remove the makeup that are uh, waterproof, actually. You need to check the pH. 5.6 pH is a really great pH for the products who want to use for your skin. And then you can pre it in our container. It's an airless container. And then you need to add the label on that. So you can have all the ingredients in, our, in the formula in this picture that you can take a snapshot of that and you can use it. I hope you enjoyed this video.